Today we've got another MTD lawnmower with a Briggs & Stratton EX series engine. It won't start and I'm going to show you the easy way to fix it. If you have one of these uh, mowers with this engine, they all have the same problem. Uh, I'm not much of a betting guy, but on these it's always the same thing. Take off your air filter cover, pull off the air filter. You're going to get a uh, 9 30 seconds nut driver. There. So for these, we've got to switch over to 5 16 nut driver. That's going to let us pull this off of there. So we're going to end up taking this carburetor out of here, but first, there's a fuel line from the gas tank to the carburetor. If you got gas in your tank, like I do, you might want to do something to stop the flow of the gas. I like to just put a pair of ice grip pliers on the hose, and that clamps off the fuel flow. After that, there's a clamp back in here. We're going to take that clamp off, and that's going to let us pull the hose off of there. Carburetor is just going to pull straight off. Going to kind of twist it. There's two linkages up here. We're just going to twist it so that those come off of there. Ta da! Next, we'll take these two screws off of here to take the bowl off. So, we're going to use that 9 30 seconds nut driver again. Pry that bowl off. Get it apart like that. Next, we need to take this out of here. Clog's going to be in here. Going to pull this part off of there. like that. Next we're going to sp spray a bunch of carburetor cleaner through all the holes in this thing. Now you're going to want to take a little piece of wire and put it through all the little holes in here. I'm just going to use some bristles off this wire brush. Next, we're going to take some carburetor cleaner and blow it through all the passages in here. It doesn't matter what kind of carburetor cleaner you get, you can get the cheapest stuff you can find at the store. After you clean out all the holes, you're going to put the pieces back together. They only go together one way. We're going to take this, put it back inside of the top part of the carburetor. It only goes in one way. If I stick that in there. Now I'm betting that solves our problem. Next we're going to put the carburetor back on. We're going to attach those linkages first that we ever so carefully took off of there. One, two. All right, now with the linkages attached, we're just going to take the carburetor and push it straight backwards. It kind of pops into place. Now we're going to reattach the air filter housing. The back of it here needs to go inside of this hose there. It's a crankcase breather. I'm just going to push that into place carefully. Once it's into place, now we're just going to put our screws back in. Now the last thing to do is put the fuel line back on the fuel inlet to the carburetor. And with the fuel line on, then we put the hose clamp back in place. Alright, everything's back in there. Now we're going to give it a test start. Time to go in. Don't you want to go in? <laughs> <laughs>